Phil. Congratulations, you're now an annual member of City Bike. There are two things that you're going to want to do at this point. One, you're going to want to download the City Bike app on your Android or iOS. And two, you're going to want to join the Bike Angel program. The link to join the Bike Angel program is in the description. I highly recommend it. It's free. And so even if you're going to take Bike Angel seriously or not, you should join it because the rewards will come regardless. So might as well just do it. Now the Bike Angel app makes life super easy. You can find the closest station to you, you can figure out where the closest station is to where you're going. It's something that you are going to use constantly. So now that you have the app downloaded and you are close to a station, you're going to want to stand at the station. You will not have a City Bike Angel key yet, so you can use the app. You're going to walk up, find a bike that you like. There are three different generations of bikes, we'll go into that later. For now, just find a bike that looks about right. Find one with the seat is at what looks to be about the right height for you, and go up to the station, and you are going to find it on your app, select that, hit unlock a bike. It's going to give you a numeric code. You're going to enter that code in to the bike system. When the light turns green, you're good to go. The bike is yours. So you can pull out the bike, make sure everything's good. You have 45 minutes with this bike. This does not mean after 45 minutes your day is done, it just means that you have to return the bike to a station within those 45 minutes. So you can take unlimited 45 minute rides. One thing that I really recommend on your first trip especially is stay in the major bike lanes. What I mean by the major bike lanes are the ones that you will not be riding directly next to cars. Uh, they have their own kind of lane. Most of these can be found by going north or south. Or take the bike out to like the Hudson River or the outskirts of Manhattan so that you don't have to deal with traffic and cars because it's your first time on it and it takes some getting used to and it takes some comfort. My first ride, I was a little nervous, so it just is easier if you try to take it on the bike lanes. And the great thing about this is you can find these bike lanes using your City Bike app. They will light them up in green and show you where they have designated bike paths. Now, they'll show you ones that go east and west that aren't exactly designated in a sense of that you're not going to be riding without cars around you but that the road has bike symbols on it where you're supposed to kind of stay and the cars are supposed to work around you when you're in those. But for your first ride, I highly recommend going north or south and also staying out by the outskirts so that you don't have to deal with cars. That's what I recommend. Now that you've gone out and you've ridden the bike for as long as you felt like up to 45 minutes, you have to return it so you don't get a fee. When you return the bike, you're going to stick it right back into a slot at an open bike station. I highly recommend lifting up the back seat uh, as you go into it because the it'll register it a little bit easier. Some you can just put it in and the light will go and you're ready. But some struggle a little bit. You're going to want to absolutely see the green light when you return the bike. Do not walk away until that green light shows. That green light is showing that you have returned the bike. If you don't see that green light and you walk away, City Bike still thinks that you have the bike out and you will be charged. So you absolutely want to see the green light. Now, if you've also downloaded the app, you will get a notification on your app that your bike has been returned. And if you have your email set up, you'll also get an email which states that your bike has been returned. I recommend leaving both of those on get the email, get the notification, because you're gonna want proof so that you are not charged in the future. So now that your bike has been returned, you're good to go. You can't get a bike for another two minutes, there's a two minute hold, and then you can get another bike and you're on your way. So I hope you enjoyed this video about your first day as an annual member of City Bike. To say thank you for watching this video, I will be handing out one free day pass to a subscriber who comments, I want a free day pass. So leave that in there and I will reach out to you if you've won. Thank you for watching my channel. I will be coming out with new videos giving more tips and tricks and my experiences with City Bike.